Hey guys, I'm Tom Spakemore. I teach travel and sometimes triumph. And today I'm doing really well. It is quite early. I usually get in earlier than I used to in the UK, but today it is, what is it, 10 to 7. I've come in early because I've got to type up a speech type thing because there is sports awards coming up. This video, what I wanted to do is talk about my week. I want to do a sort of week slash day in the life of a teacher. However, I can't really do a full week because it's currently a Tuesday, which is the same as a Wednesday back in the UK or in the USA. It's the hump day, if that's what you call it. So I want to sort of talk about what I'm up to this week. I wasn't going to create this video, but I've got a lot of good things going on this week and I just wanted to share what I'm getting up to. So this week in my school, in year two, across the primary school, it is STEAM week. And for those of you that don't know, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, Maths. Got them right. So that's what STEAM stands for. And it's all about project-based work. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because it's really quite exciting and the kids are actually loving it. Now, what we're doing for STEAM is we are making cars. We're sort of pushing a recycling environmental approach because here in the UAE there's a problem with, with camels and them eating plastic and then dying from the eating plastic. So we're gonna be recycling different plastics and putting them to good use and making cars. The reason why I decided to make this video was based on yesterday. They've already started to make the cars. So I wanna show you what they've been up to so far and then hopefully I can show you sort of the end result and what we get up to throughout this remainder of the week. Let's go with that. So <laughs> it's really interesting. Here's an example of one that I've got so far and it's sort of, I'd say a quarter of the way finished. They've not quite figured out how to get it to push along yet. They've not figured out all the different elements that they need. Um, but you can see that they've got an axle on the bottom. I'm hoping you can see that. And the wheels spin. They've got a balloon that's gonna push it along. They've got a straw that's gonna help. They have watched a video on how these balloon powered cars should work. So they have a rough idea. However, there's still some who are getting a little bit confused with things. So it was interesting seeing how some really got on well with the steam side of things and the, the engineering was just like, ah, got ideas. Starting to put science and math together and starting to think about the way that they can put things together. And then others just needed a little bit more encouragement and needed, needed that sort of help with the problem solving side of things. So here's an example where sort of the, car, the wheels are on the inside at the moment. Um, they've got an idea of what they want to do with the exhaust balloon. They know that they can, I'm not gonna put my mouth over this, not happening, but they know that if they blow that up, then the balloon will blow up and the air comes out. So they've got some sort of idea, but we need to sort of break it down and think about how we can get it into a car and actually get it working. It's the last week of school as well, which is always crazy. So we've got sports awards for up key stage two. I had a basketball team this year, so I've got to go and do that. So I've got some maths resources that I've printed off for cover. Now these are off Twinkle, I highly recommend these. These are something that my kids absolutely love. It's one of these mystery packs and it's this basically. So these mystery packs are clue based. You solve the different clues and it gives you the answer, if you like, as to who did whatever it was. This one's about someone stealing something. So Twinkle, you do well with these, make more of them, they're fantastic. And a really good way of consolidating things Sports awards, they're gonna be quite formal. So the reason I'm here so early, as I said at the start, is to write a speech. So I'm gonna continue with that and hopefully I can show you throughout the week how this thing goes. where either one, you feel like that's it, you don't wanna be a teacher, you're gonna pack it up, you're gonna quit at the end of the year, and that is it, you're done. But then you also get these other days that just absolutely fly by and make you think, wait, did I actually, did 
that I teach today. And today's been one of those days. It's been really rewarding, really fun, enthusiastic, bubbly. It's just been absolutely amazing. So to start off with, I had the Key Stage 2 sort of sports awards. Now, I had a basketball team this year as part of the school. They were fantastic, worked really hard, and they were undefeated. And as a result, won two trophies. So because of that, we got Team of the Year. So a fantastic sort of rewarding time, really, that that whole sports awards was. And I was really, really proud of all of them. They were they were brilliant. Now, STEAM is the focus of this video, and uh, yeah, about STEAM. So <laughs> it's been a really interesting lesson today. Sadly, we didn't get to do maths today. We're going to have to do an extended maths tomorrow or something because the STEAM sort of continued and the, the making the cars was actually a little bit problematic, but we sort of solved a few problems here and there. The glue gun, to start off with, this thing just here, was a little bit of a nightmare. So I obviously, as teacher, wanted to think about safety. Stayed over there in the corner, but burnt my finger because I wasn't really concentrating, trying to watch the cat. I just, it just didn't work. The kids with their cars have sort of got a little better. Let me go and get them and you'll see like how we're getting on with them now. So we have cars. We've got cars that are I'm getting dripped on by. Oh, balloon spit. Nice. So we have cars. They blow, see, blow through that side and then the balloon blows up and pushes it along. You can see like the wheels, not quite straight. Uh, again, this one here, this one's not a bad one and does go, but again, the wheel's not really straight, so it curves. And this one here, the axle's a bit stiff. So we're at a point where we sort of have cars, but they're not fully working at the moment. So as part of the problem solving for STEAM, the children now need to think, so what is it they now need to do next? When I look at other classes, and I'm sure that some of you teachers out there will also feel the same, when I look at the teachers and their classes, their cars seem like really advanced. I've got one car in another class that will go down all of the corridor, so I feel a little bit behind. So we're gonna spend tomorrow just like, yeah, come on guys, try and get it better, as good as possible. So lunchtime and the day has absolutely just sort of flown by and so it's lunchtime at the moment but the day's sort of just like flown by and you'll notice that it's really messy here because we spent so long doing steam we've not actually had much chance to tidy it up so we're gonna have to sort that out when we get back from lunch. Now, we've got a Year 6 Leavers Assembly, which is fantastic, so I can't wait to go and see that because I know it's going to be brilliant. Morning guys, so today is probably the last day of the children designing and creating and sort of putting the finishing touches on their steam cars. I know that we've got a lot of problem solving to do today. They've got to try and actually make their cars move and move for a far distance. So we're going to need to be really creative and start thinking about what it is that we're going to do to get these cars moving. Because as I said before, a little bit behind. So fingers crossed today actually goes well. It's going to be a very, very busy day. Another crazy day. This day has been quite creative. I know I spoke about steam and trying to get them sort of polished off, and I feel like we actually have fully working blowing power cars, if that's what you'd call them. So for a change, I don't have to go and fetch them. I've got them here. So you've got one here, so that the air points to the ground. When it blows up, it actually goes. They've sorted the axles out. The only thing these guys need to sort out is the wheels, because they end up turning. And then this one is fully complete and works quite well. You can see the wheels spin. So it's pretty good. They've even started decorating it. So tomorrow is race day. The kids are super excited because they'll actually get to race these cars against the other classes. Uh, we haven't got a champion yet in 2E, so we'll see how that goes. Other than that, today has just gone super, super quick. The classroom is still messy, but we're sort of decluttering and sort of bringing stuff down to start because next week is going to be clear out and last week of school. So busy week still, but it's going quite quickly. Right, see you tomorrow for 
race day. Morning, it is a Thursday, which here in Dubai means it's the equivalent of a Friday, so it's the last day of the week. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, last night I had a basketball game that went on far too late. The basketball game started late, which meant it finished late. I eventually got in at midnight. Now, the problem is with the basketball game, after a basketball game, it was for like buzzing, quite like excitable, so I struggled to sleep. So I had a lack of sleep up at 5.15 as I do every day. So I'm like, oh, struggling. So it's race day. I spoke about it yesterday and it is race day. So I know that the kids are gonna come in really excited today because they're gonna to get to race their cars. It's not a bad day for the kids either because they're gonna have PE and race day and they're gonna be finishing off a few bits and pieces with the cars just to make sure that their balloons are new so that the elastic is, is not used, if that's what you call it. So I'm sure the kids are gonna have a fantastic day and as a result, I'll have a good day. I'm also gonna put in some Scratch Junior today as part of the ICT because the children haven't had much opportunity this term to, to sort of crack on with that. So I wanna teach some proper Scratch Junior stuff and get the children coding using the iPads, which is gonna be good. So yeah, good day plans and it's always good that it's a Thursday, which is, like I said, a Friday back in the UK. So it's fair to say that Steam Week was a huge success. I know I started this video a little bit late in the week, but the children absolutely loved it. It was fantastic getting the children to design, to create, fail, and at the end of it, they had an absolute blast. Now, to be fair, the children have done absolutely exceptional with it. They've been really resilient and worked so hard. Now, there were times where the children just gave up, but they definitely showed this sort of persistent, resilient attitude. So, towards the end of the day, the children got the chance to race their cars against some of the other classes, and you can see that they now have wheels, although they could probably end up doing some, some more fine-tuning, things like that, but children just got a really good opportunity to see what it's like to create something. And that's the whole idea of this STEAM week. Now, as always, I try and make these videos somewhat helpful. If this can help one person out there, then that's fantastic. So some of the tips I would give when giving STEAM week is set a lot of time for it. I know that the pressures of school sometimes don't allow you to get the opportunity to do things like STEAM week. So give them the time to fail, redo things, fail again, and then eventually experience that success. Give them that chance to have something exciting at the end. So give them that hook. Ours was the fact that they were going to race towards the end of the week and having one already available so that they could actually see it working and then give them that sort of treat at the end where they actually get to do that. The other thing which I usually struggle with but didn't this time is be organized. That is absolutely key because I was really lucky in the UAE, my parents are amazing. So I gave, I just sent out, it was almost like a request of different things that I'd like in terms of like, you know, recycling bottles and caps and things that people might go through throughout their daily sort of recycling. I live in the UAE on my own, so I don't consume and have as much recycling as a family. So it's been fantastic because they've brought in things and the children could then use those resources to sort of create the, the things that they've made. So today has been amazing and the whole week has just been really exciting for the children. The whole school did lots of different STEAM activities, so I saw an activity outside where they were shooting rockets and bits and pieces like that. So. It's really good when the whole school gets involved and then other children can see and talk about what they've been up to and just sort of get excited about science and engineering and maths and some of the things that they sometimes might not find as exciting. Anyway guys, hopefully you found this video useful and enjoyed the week that I've had at school along with me because yeah, this week's been fantastic. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see future content, things like weeks in the life, I want to do a proper day in the life of a teacher like full wake up to end of the day. That would be quite interesting. Uh, tips videos, travel videos, then you can see more of that in my channel. Make sure to subscribe down in the corner. You can hit that bell so that you can know when more videos of mine are coming out. As always, please like the video. That always 
helps the channel and video out. I'll see you in the next one, guys, and yeah, I'm out.